Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Now we are going to discuss about chip design hierarchy. What is hierarchy? So hierarchy in the sense, some steps followed to fabricate the integrated circuit. It's a chip design hierarchy. In this session, we are going to discuss about fabricate the inverter circuit, so not IC. Here we are following different levels. The first level is system level, next one logic level, then circuit level, physical level, final one is a fabrication. It's a beginning step, system level. What is system? So system in this is collection of different component accommodate in a single package. It's called as system. So first one is a system level. In this system level, just you represent input and output in the block. Let us consider one example. Here we are developing the inverter circuits. It's a block diagram of inverter. It's represent not. It's an inverter block diagram. In this inverter circuit, first you assign the input value and output value. Here we take it as single input and it produce single output that may be called as A that output is called as A ball that's the first step the next level logic level so in this logic level that block diagram is converted into the logic circuits in this logic level this block diagram is converted into the logical circuit it's a symbol of inverter circuits here A is the input and A bar is the output. If write the proof table for inverter, A is the input, A bar is the output. Here A is a single variable. It produces the two combinations of input. The first combination is 0 and next one is 1. First you apply 0 value in this circuit. It produces the result is 1. Suppose you apply 1 the result is 0. Based on this truth table, you verify the logical circuit whether it produces the valid output or invalid output. Once it produces the right output, next you proceed the next level. The third level is circuit level. So circuit level in the sense, this logical circuit is transformed into transistor level. It's called as a circuit level. It's a simple diagram of a CMOS inverter. In this CMOS inverter, we can use the two transistors T1 and T2. This T1 is a PMOS. CMOS is combinations of PMOS and LMOS is called as a CMOS circuit. T2 is a LMOS circuit. A is input, A bar is a output. VDD on ground. That's a power supply unit. You just apply the power supply and then you apply the input values. You check the output value. It produces the valid output or invalid output. First you assign the input A value 0 and 1. You check the output value. First you assign A value equal to 0. This 0 is transferred to PMOS and LMOS. In this PMOS, before that, you can use one bubble. This bubble meaning just inverting. Just complement the input value to pass the PMOS transistor. This value equal to 1. Internal PMOS value 1. So input is 0. Internal PMOS value equal to 1. The T1 transistor turn on. T2 transistor turn off. In this case, the VDD is directly connected to output. If you pause 0 value, the result is 1. Suppose the A value equal to 1. In this case, it's an inverter circuit. It invert the A value, internal PMOS values 0. The NMOS transistor turn on. In this case, T2 turn on. So VDD now directly connect to the output side it's connect to ground the result is zero you just to check the result with the truth table so both the results are same 
So this verification is true. The next level is physical level. In this physical level, you just graphical representation. So first level block, second level logical diagram, and third one you are just converting the transistor level, and final one is the graphical representation of the given transistor circuits. It's a one line diagram or straight diagram for the CMOS inverter. Here this black line, black line, mention input and ground, VDD and ground values. So red line mention input of the CMOS circuit, blue mention transistor, PMOS and MOS transistor. Is it clear? These two blue lines represent the transistor PMOS and the NMOS. This red line mention the input value. This line mention the output. Just you applying the input value 0. Is PMOS transistor turn on VDD connect to output line. Finally you can get the result 1. Suppose the A value equal to 1. In this case the PMOS turn off NMOS turn on the circuit directly connect to ground. The result is 0. It's a physical design. The final one fabrication. Just this design is converted into chip level. Finally you can get the result chip level. Okay. You just check each and every level. The output value compared with the truth table value. It's produced a valid output or invalid. Suppose this circuit is producing the invalid output, you come back to the level, you modify the circuits and again check with the truth table. It's a basic function of chip design hierarchy. Thanks for watching my channel. Please subscribe.